Hello stampers and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you this cute card that I made with the Ringed with Nature stamp set, Turing dies, and the cute paper from the Rings of Love Celebration paper um, from August to September 2022. But maybe you weren't fortunate enough to get that paper so I'm going to show you how to redo this card and just use the bundle Ringed with Nature. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start with the card base, which is a piece of white cardstock scored in the middle. And take the bone folder and give it a nice crisp edge. All right, then the next thing we're gonna do is this layer and to do that, I'm gonna bring in my cutting machine. And we are gonna use this embossing folder. It's actually a hybrid embossing folder. It's really quite cool because it um, cuts and embosses at the same time. So first of all, though, to do this background, we're just gonna emboss it, so we're not gonna use this. We're only gonna use the embossing folder. And I took a piece of soft suede cardstock. And I'm gonna put it in here. Just center it in the embossing folder, put the folded edge towards the mechanism and set it in here and rotate it through my machine. And that gives me this gorgeous embossed card base. All right, so next what you do is you take, um, I'm gonna take and put a piece of white cardstock in there because that's what I'm gonna cut my tree rings out with since I'm assuming you don't have the paper from Celebration. Now I just moved these dies until they notched in place and I'm gonna close my folder over them. And you can see from the back that I just need to line my white paper up a little bit better. Let's see if I can do that. There we go, that's better. All right, so now I'm just gonna flip it over so it's cutting side down. I'm going to put it on my one plate with my specialty plate on top. And it's just that simple. Then you crank it through. And I'll set my machine to the side. And check this out. All right, so when you open it up, look at this. Not only embossed it, it cut it out all at the same time, and that's what a hybrid embossing folder does. It embosses and cuts. Um, there aren't a lot of these in the Stamping Up line, but the ones that are in the line are amazing. All right, so we're just gonna set that aside. So now I have my card base, and I have this. All right, the next thing I did was I took the uh, Stylus Shapes dies and I cut out the largest circle and it looks like this. And on this particular card I said love and warmth, but there are other phrases in the stamp set that you could have used. And in fact, I'm gonna do thinking of you for this one, but you could have done other sentiments as well. This is a really versatile stamp set. So let me just bring this in here and I'm going to stamp love and warmth actually no I'm going to stamp thinking of you and to do that I'm going to use early espresso so this is where we get to be creative now the cutting is mostly done and we can stamp a sentiment I'm going to say thinking of you and I'm kind of doing it in the top right quadrant, thinking of you. 
which would be nice for a sympathy card or just a get well kind of card or even though it does say get well soon I mean you could add get well soon on the inside if that's what you were thinking for this card all right so I'm just going to set that aside on my card now the next thing I'm going to do I had cut this out of the designer series paper the tree ring and the house but guess what that is actually in the stamp set there's um well, there's a tree ring, but we're not going to use that. But there is a house, and that's what we're going to use for this next step. So I just have a scrap of paper. And the two colors I'm using, which emulate the designer series paper, are Mint Macaron and Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to start with the lighter color first, and, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So the lighter color... No, negative. I'm going to start with the darker color first, uh, the Evening Evergreen, because it's harder to line it up if you do it the other way. And I'll show you my boo-boos from that. All right, so I tapped it, the pad, in Evening Evergreen. And I'm going to stamp the roof first. So there is the roof. And now I'm going to stamp the house in mint macaron which is funny i always thought it was macaroon for the longest time but i found out nope it's macaron all right so now it's really easy to see where i need to line up the stamp and look i did a good job when i did it the other way around and did the mint macaron first i got these little air gaps because i couldn't line them up and it didn't look good but this looks perfect i'm really happy with it and all I'm going to do now is take my snips and fussy cut the house. There's not a die for the house, but it's really easy to cut it out, so it's not that big of a deal. So you, of course, could have chosen any color to do this with. I'm just trying to make it look sort of like the one I did with the celebration paper. But you could choose any color. All right, so we're going to set that aside. The next thing I did was I cut out some leaves. And I used this die. And then I got this. In the interest of time, I'm just going to have it cut out for you already and then the other thing I did was I took um, one of these tree rings which I just showed you how to cut out and um, crumb cake and soft suede and I took two sponge daubers I'm gonna start with the crumb cake now I'm doing this on the embossed side each of these embossed images have an embossed side and a deboss side and I actually did experiment with the emboss side and the deboss side I kind of liked the emboss side better so that's what I'm going to do so first of all I'm going to take tapping my sponge diver in the soft suede and I'm just doing little circles with my sponge dauber and you could like rub it off on a piece of paper first if you wanted to just to make sure you don't get too intense of a color but for this particular project I wanted an intense color so I'm not going to do that all right so that is the crumb cake yeah, just making sure and now I'm going to take the soft suede which is slightly darker and rub that around the edge to do that I'm just going to hold it up So it kind of looks like the outside of the tree ring. Now this paper had like a little bit of green. You could bring in a little green if you want to, but I'm not going to mess with it because I have a feeling I couldn't make it look quite as good as that. So 
All right, now these sponge daubers are reusable. You just take them to the sink, rinse them out, and uh, you might end up with some staining, like here's one that's stained, but um, it doesn't affect future use, like it won't bleed in that color. But you can always like use browns with browns or you know reds with reds if it bothers you. All right, so now we are almost ready to assemble. The last thing I did was make a little bow from the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. And now we are ready to assemble our card. So hopefully my hands aren't too dirty. I think I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just wipe them off real fast so I don't end up with fingerprints, which sometimes I do. All right, so here we go. There's my card base. And I'm gonna put some adhesive on the four corners. You can use whatever adhesive you like. Some people put adhesive all over their card. I'm not really sure why you don't really need to. Just the four corners is good enough. And now I just sort of hovering it above and making sure that it's equidistance um, all the way around. That looks good. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is take my thinking of you and I'm not putting it in the center, I'm putting it up a little. So once again, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of my circle. I'm gonna pop it up a little, like maybe there, sort of hovering it so that I have the same amount on the sides. And I'm lining this up with the top, which I think, there we go, that looks a little bit better to me. All right, so now I'm gonna take my tree ring that goes on next. And, you know, it doesn't quite look the same, but it looks pretty good if you ask me. I might have gone a little lighter on the crumb cake, uh, but it looks fine. I'm gonna put that down here. And then I'm gonna take my house and uh, I'll put that on next. So it's just a really nice fall card or masculine card. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my little um, branch and I'm gonna use my silicone mat to put some glue on the back. The silicone mat is nice because if you get extra glue, if you spill it, it goes on your silicone mat. You can just rub it off when it dries and you're not getting glue all over your work surface. All right, so that's good. You really don't want to use too much glue or um, it'll ooze out all over your card, which it dries, but it just kind of is sticky if you do that. All right, so I'm going to put that on right about here. And I'm going to take my little bow. There it is. I covered it up and use a glue dot which I like to just leave it on there and don't touch it with my finger so I'm not getting oils on it. I'm gonna set my bow right on top of it. And you can peel it off with your fingers or use scissors, tweezers, whatever. I'm just gonna peel it off and put it right there. And then the last thing I wanna do is just um, cut the tails. If I can find my scissors, there they are. And look at that, very cute. You didn't need the celebration paper to make this cute card because you can just make it yourself. There's the one from the celebration. They look pretty similar. Um, like I said, I might have gone lighter on the crumb cake. Um, here's an example of lighter on the crumb cake and it probably has a better contrast. So thank you for joining me today. If you like what you see, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.